So anyway, um, speaking of launch pads and turning them around quickly, SpaceX launched the other day. Did you guys realize that they had their quickest turnaround? That they had just launched? So um, on December, what was that, 16th? SpaceX launched the JCSAT-18 and Pacific One satellites um, from Launch Complex 40. It was only 11 days after they had just used that launch pad. Hmm. Hmm. Which is... Yeah, that I can't is even keep up, crazy. man. It's, it's they launch so frequently. I just see your tweets like going live. I'm like, again? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be a busy boy. I'll tell you that. Like you're um, gonna have to stop live streaming them all because yeah, there's well, gonna be it's too already, many. It's already a thing. I'm already just kind of having to pick and choose a little bit. Um, I don't. I really don't want to live stream more than like once or twice a week because it takes more time than people think. People think you just sit down and blah. But like I'd say, almost for every, you know, every hour you live stream, there's an hour of like preparing and or post processing things and getting stuff ready on the back end when it's done too. So yeah, <laughs> it's like, I'll never get videos done I'll, even worse than I don't know. But anyway, um, this was a, a mission going out to geostationary transfer orbit, um, pretty heavy satellite and SpaceX was attempting to catch both fairing halves using um, Miss Tree and Miss Chief, the two fairing catching boats. This is the first time they're trying to actually do them both at the same time. Um, and spoiler alert, they were successful in catching neither of them. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute. I was curious. <laughs> <laughs> now, did, did yep. they say they, they weren't going to try, right? Like it just wasn't even going to happen? No, they tried. Oh, okay. Because again, can't too much going on to try to follow with that detail. But I, I swear it was like, yep, just not going to happen. Like they knew early on that that they were that happened catching. recently where they had to turn the boats back because seas were too rough and they're just like nope. Uh, that was the yep. previous time they tried to catch both of them, which was just a I week think before so. that. Got it. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm getting confused too now. It's hard to keep up these days. Um, but the mission was, of course, a huge, huge, huge success. Uh, the booster landed dead center, bullseye landing, and most importantly, the payload got deployed and on its way to geostationary transfer orbit. Um, so a knock, an absolute knockout, picture-perfect mission for SpaceX. Um, they're really, truly making this look uh, just routine and mundane, um, which is maybe why um, our friends at Business Insider had to write this headline. Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> a SpaceX nose. rocket lost its nose cone during an otherwise <laughs> successful launch in Florida. They just can't help oh. themselves. Oh, do you guys want to pick this apart with me? Does it have a nose cone? What are they talking about? They're talking about the fairing. Oh, because I feel like a nose cone is something different. Yeah, it kind of is. So that's kind of already <laughs> false. Um, so they're talking about the fairings? They're talking about the fairings. Which... Every company that has ever launched ever loses their fairings every single time they launch? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's actually, it'd be a bigger deal if they didn't lose the fairings. Actually, there's been two missions, yeah. like the Agena target vehicle with like Gemini, what was that, six <clears throat> or eight or something. They didn't, the payload fairing didn't deploy. And it was a, it was a failed mission because of that. <laughs> or uh, OC01, uh, uh, carbon observing on a Delta II, um, the fairing didn't deploy. So it didn't lose Whoops. its fairings, and that was a failure. It was a failed mission. And here they're trying to make it sound like it lost its... And actually, the funniest thing is, again, not only is SpaceX the only company trying to recover fairings, they never lost it ever because they literally tracked it the whole way down, which no other company does. They mm -hmm. never at one point lost it. They just and didn't did, catch it. Didn't they get it out of the water, though? They still fetched it right out of the water. <laughs> So it's not like it's a thing where they couldn't even find it. You know, they they lost it in the ocean and then it waves, you know, succumbed to waves and all of a sudden it sunk to the bottom. Nope. They fished them out of the water, right? Because they only missed it by like a couple meters or whatever. I'm guessing that a negative headline just simply gets more clicks than an yeah, accurate of one. Of course. So. Of course. That's just, to me, that is like, oh, that's so dangerous and so like how can you think that's fair yeah you know i mean joe you're right though like if you look at research about this psychology shows us that negative headlines draw your attention more and business insider is in the business of getting clicks and whatever um so i mean this just is just a factor of human psychology and the internet essentially you know which is why you'll notice I did not 
link to the article. I just did a screenshot. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, yeah. I don't want I don't want them to get the clicks of a completely hor- horrendously misleading headline. Yeah, Very it bad. has to be intentionally misleading. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you wouldn't phrase otherwise successful mission makes it sound like the mission was like compromised because it lost its note like that'd be know. like that'd be like formula one racer loses all four wheels during race but places first it's like that <laughs> that's called changing your tires tires you do that yeah. through the race <laughs> well and then it was great twitter really had some good ones like um someone goes like they they lost um two fairings have uh wait uh so K- kimmy uh tal Talviti, I don't know how to say his last name. Sorry, Kimmy. Um, had they caught them, the headline would have been two fairing halves from SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket fell onto a fully crewed ship on sea. You know, and then someone else goes like, uh, I don't remember, like they lost all their fuel, you know, or whatever, like SpaceX <laughs> rocket loses all of its fuel. SpaceX you know. loses payload in space. What happened <laughs> to the payload? horribly exactly. inefficient rocket is completely devoid of fuel when it lands <laughs> <laughs> or that was the first stage of spacex's rocket had to return home after almost running out of fuel like <laughs> <laughs> great oh so I, I love it yeah you, thought, but, you almost want to get ahead of them and just like create your own like onion fake neg- yeah yeah kind of yeah uh, so it could be seriously. like an onion for negative spacex and tesla news yeah just to get ahead of the actual websites <laughs> hey thanks for checking us out guys i hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast we do a weekly show here on youtube so make sure and subscribe to our ludicrous future where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous you can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. <laughs>